One thing we didn't, are we still rolling? Yeah. One thing we didn't talk about is the picks. Um, I left this out. Um, you know, when, when, I, when, when that girl gave me a pick, it was, it was round like this. It was really thin. And even though I did the, I still managed to do that. I, I was like, man, I need, a, I need an edge on this thing. So I took it home and I sharpened it. And I remember Fender used to make these picks that were like a triangle. And they had like, you know, three edges or whatever that were really sharp. And I thought that was the greatest thing ever because I, sh I would sharpen that down to where it was so pointy that, you know, you could put an eye out. And uh, so I used those for years. And then when Dunlop started making, you know, Tortex picks, I would find the heaviest ones, which was like the purple ones at the time, and I would sharpen them. And... Uh, and that's how I, I got my, you know, where you could really get the distinction of, of definition, I guess, of the notes. So a funny thing happened, you know, People start, I guess people call, I didn't, I'm not saying I invented it, I wish I would have patented it. You know, this was a long time ago. But other people figured it out too and started doing it. And I'll never forget when Dunlop sent, I, I you know, got older and started getting endorsements, Dunlop sent me some sharp picks. And, um, and they were heavier than the purple ones and I just fell in love with them. I still, still got thousands of them and I remember, uh, uh, he's gonna kill me for forgetting, Scott Ishida. I believe it was his name at Dunlop, was so mad at me because I was like, dude, I gotta have the white ones. They were like 1.55, right? Just unbelievably heavy. And he was like, dude, nobody uses those. You're the only one. I go, I don't care, I gotta have them. And I found out a few other people made them, but he always yells at me every time he sees me about that. I was at a um, guitar show in San Francisco, uh, guitar and amp show, about two years ago. And uh, this, this little guy, I met this little guy named Vinny Smith and a little Italian guy out there and a uh, fan, of, fan of the right hand. And, and, uh, and he was like, hey, man, I make these picks. I, I really want you to try them. And I was like, that was the weirdest thing anybody had ever said to me. What? Nobody's never come up to me asking me to try a pick. I just thought that was strange. It's like, here, try my guitar chord, you know? It's like, I, look, man, I've been using the same pick for 20 years. I, why? I don't want them. Just take the bag, you know, check them out, and uh, see what you think, you know? Please, Carlos Santana uses them. So I was like, all right, all right, all right. So I took the bag. Well, when I went back to my hotel room, I didn't have any of my picks on me, but I had that bag of picks. So I pulled them out and I could not believe what I felt. I have a bad sweat problem in my fingers and my, those Dunlop picks would always fly out of my hands. I would always have to put sticky sh crap all over them or whatever, or, or you know, scratch them a little bit to get a uh, grind on them. Well, these picks that he makes, they're V picks and uh, they're made out of some kind of plexiglass. He won't tell me, he just says, yeah, just say that. You can see that. It stick to my finger perfectly. And he made this pick just for me. So I have my own custom picks on vpick.com there. Uh, and they are amazing. And I won't touch anything else. Now I can't use anything else. I went back to try to use my old Dunlop picks and I, I couldn't play worth a crap. And uh, so he's got me. So if something happens to him, I am really screwed. But uh, God bless him, man, you know? I, I could not believe a pick would um, have come this far, you know, to, to find this. And uh, I went for so long without it, now I feel like I can't live without it, you know? It's really strange, you know, when something like that happens. But uh, yeah, this, uh, I don't know if you guys have checked these out, uh, but they're, they're pretty awesome. And the people I've turned on to them uh, really, really, uh, really dig them too. Um, but yeah, good stuff. They last too. That was a big problem I had was the other picks would just wear down because I used such a heavy gauge string. 
that the that they would wear down so bad, and these don't. I mean, and if they do, you just you know wipe them on the carpet or something, and they're good.